Hey guys, it's Beaver. So we got a missing persons case out of Colorado. 16-year-old Rylan Finley. She was last seen getting into a van at 6.45 on Friday with a older gentleman. Um, not a lot of context just yet, but at least we have a picture and um, let's just see what's going on to a teenage girl who left home last night and has not yet come back. Police say the last time somebody saw Rylan Fendley was last night around 645. At the time, she was getting into a blue van at a gas station. They're also worried about her because she needs medications for epilepsy and other medical conditions. Arvada police say Fendley was wearing a blue, excuse me, a purple jacket, wearing a purple jacket, black leggings, and white shoes. The van she got into is a 90s Ford Econoline van with the back driver's side window taped up. Anybody who has seen her or this van, please call Arvada Police. All right, let's take a look at a different article. CBI, Danger Missing Persons. Alert, epileptic teenager last seen in Arvada. God, she's so cute. And she's got distinctive features, too, like the dimples right away. I mean, she's got a distinctive jawline. But again, if, if you are not aware, if you don't have awareness, then you may not know that you are looking at a missing child. That's why it is important or a missing person, period. But that's why it's important to get this out. So let's take a read. Arvada police reported Ryan, uh, Raylan Finley was last seen around 6.30 p.m. Friday getting into a 90s navy blue Ford Echo Line style van with the rear driver's side window taped over in the 16, uh, 6400 block of Quail Street. The 16-year-old has epilepsy and other medical conditions that require medication. A Colorado Bureau of Investigation said she's a white female wearing a purple fleece jacket, black leggings, and white shoes. She is 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighs approximately 160 pounds. She has brownish blue eyes and she was wearing a black backpack. So here's a picture of the gentleman in the van. Um pretty brazen if you ask me um but the whole world's on fire so nothing shocks me i am grateful that we at least have this image and people have something to go by police did not get the license plate of the van but believe the driver is a white male in his late 40s to early 50s with medium build uh, dark hair and salt and pepper goatee let's see if it says anything else this is person yeah this is just the um uh, press that they put out. Arvada police ask if anybody has any information, they are asked to call 720-898-6900. So, in uh, True Crime Sisters on Facebook, they have a page, um, and really there's not a whole lot coming out uh, just yet, And but I'm sure more and more people will share, and more and more um, this baby's picture and what's going on in the description of the vehicle and the man will get out so let's go take another close-up look at both of these pictures and look at the flyer so here's a zoomed up picture of this baby rylan in the van tape on the back window 90s model eco line uh, blue uh, early's model they said and she's wearing and it says she has a black backpack um purple shirt, white shoes, black pants. Um, here's a close-up. I mean, it's pretty. It would stand out. I mean, so hopefully they'll be seen in an area that um, somebody can recognize them. All right, so here are, All right, Ryan Finley, missing. Last seen, 8-13-2021, which this was just Friday. Today is the 15th. She's 16, 5 feet, 5 inches tall, 160 pounds, light brown hair, blue eyes, uh, medical, intellectually, intellectual development disabilities, and she is without her daily medication. This is super important. It's crazy how much, to me, she looks like Whitney Luloff in this picture. Um, it was throwing me off initially, the one with her and the little beanie. Clothing, purple jacket, black leggings, white shoes, circumstances. Ryan Finley was last seen getting into a 90s navy blue Econoline style van at 6.45 p.m. on Friday, August 13th, 2021. No plate information was obtained. The rear driver's window has been taped over. The driver is described as a white male in his late 40s, 50s, medium build, 
dark brown salt and pepper goatee. So, and if you have any information, you're asked to call Arvada Police Department at 720-898-6900. Again, that is 720-898-6900, Arvada Police Department in Colorado. So, again, this is really all that's been coming out. I've done a little bit of digging, and I have come up short. Now, I have not kind of tracked down her whole entire family, but uh, as far as police and um, press release or anything that they're putting out, this is it right now. Today's Sunday, the 15th, August 15th. This happened Thursday night, or Friday night, 13th. So, we're just going to, you know, we're going to be following this. Y'all share. Get this baby's picture out. Um... It's very important. You never know it when you're looking at a missing child. We say prayers for the family. We say prayers for Rylan that she is safe and she resurfaces soon. And this, you know, whole bag of crap, um, you know, we figure out what's going on with him. And, you know, we'll deal with all that. The law enforcement can deal with all that. All right, guys. That's all I got for this one. Love y'all. Hey, guys. So... We have an update, a fast update. It came out 26 minutes ago, the minute I hit upload. Um, they have located the van and the vehicle, and the man driving the van. He had just given her a ride. It says, van driver had been located. Investigation reveals that the driver gave Raylan a ride to a local bus stop. We are still looking for information on Raylan's whereabouts and have no indication of abduction at this time. Raylan's phone last pinged in downtown Denver. Agencies involved include Arvada Police Department, CBI, Jefferson County Human Service, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Please contact police if you see Raylan. Raylan is described as a white female wearing a purple fleece jacket, black leggings, and white shoes. She is 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighs approximately 160 pounds, brownish blue eyes, and she was carrying a black backpack. So, uh, and they did post another picture right here. This picture right here is new. Um, I, I want to say this, just the fact that this man, she let him give her a ride and things like that. Um, she's, uh, she's in danger as far as like, she's not making good decisions. She just got a ride with a complete stranger. So she's not making good decisions in addition to leaving, um, not a good decision, but kids make bad decisions. She still needs to be found. It doesn't matter. She uh, needs medication. She doesn't have her medication. She is epileptic. She is endangered. It's an endangered missing. So, uh, we're still looking for her, but they have located the van, and they have located the driver. He did not, you know, he was just giving her a ride. So, um, that's all I have for this one. The more information trickles out, I will let y'all know we're going to be following this. And uh, we'll be definitely talking about it on the stream tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. I'll beg.